Now for parts B and C of this question, we've got to find E of X and show that E of X squared equals 4 thirds for this random variable X which has this probability function. Now you remember in part A I drew you up the probability distribution function and we had to show that k was equal to 1 sixth and we did that by adding up the probabilities and showing that it came to a total of 1. Well to find e of x often called the expected mean you should be familiar with this particular formula that e of x the expected mean is equal to sigma the sum of any observation x multiplied by its corresponding probability that is that x equals the observed value. So when it comes to working this out all we need to do is do minus 1 first of all and multiply that with 4k. We'll keep it in terms of k rather than just putting in 1 sixth at this stage. And then we've got 0 times k so we've got 0 times k plus 1 times 0. Now I know that these two terms I've just written down as 0 but I'm just writing them down just for the sake of it just to give you an idea of what happens for other questions that you might get like this. And so we do 2 times k for the last term. And what we've got here is a total of minus 4k. These two are 0 plus another 2k so that's going to be minus 2k. Now we know that k is equal to 1 6th so we've got minus 2 times 1 6th which is minus 2 6th and that simplifies to minus 1 3rd. So there's your expected mean, E of x in other words. Now in the next part, part c, we've got to show that E of x squared is equal to 4 thirds. Now e of x squared is a formula you should be familiar with. It is sigma, the sum of any of the observed values x squared multiplied by the probability that x equals that observed value. So therefore that just means that e of x squared is going to equal the minus 1 or squared multiplied by the probability 4k, we'll leave it in terms of k, then it's plus 0 squared times the k followed by 1 squared times 0 and finally 2 squared times the k. So what does this come to? Well this comes to 1 times 4k which is 4k. We've got 0 here and 0 here and plus another 4k. So in other words we've got a total of 8k. So that's 8 times 1 sixth which is going to be 8 sixths and 8 sixths reduces down to 4 thirds what we had to show here. Okay. Now if you'd like to see the next part to this question and you're on my website examsolutions.net just page back and you should be able to find the next part to this question.